once again in 2021, just like the year before, for our paints and coatings industry, it was a lot about COVID. The subsequent pandemic waves, together with specific one-time events, created real availability issues in production, but also in the shipment between regions of those raw materials. As a result, we had shortages and also an unprecedented cost increase we had to absorb. Raw materials went up with almost 35% in cost versus the year before. That created a lot of tension in our organization. To serve our customers, we had to show real agility in our plants, in our supply chains, and our sales organization had to explain time and time again to our customers that the costs had gone up one more time. A real test for the newfound agility and resilience of the company, and also in a real test for the can-do attitude that we have developed. But I'm happy to report that the team really rose to the challenge. Despite this unprecedented turmoil, we are in good shape. But our sales organization and marketing teams really were vigilant to make sure that we didn't lose any value. And our integrated supply chain from procurement, R&D and manufacturing did everything possible to safeguard the service levels to our customers. So we're in a very good shape to look at a confident glide path in 2022. And more importantly, we really kept on track with our grow and deliver targets for 2023. Just some proof points to illustrate that we're still on track with grow and deliver. Powder Coatings, a global leader in that segment for us, did a double digit growth despite raw material constraints and sees new applications, new markets opening up time and time again. Our Deco China business was really successful in their steps in their geographic expansion. Dulux grew double digit. The acquisition we announced in Latin America from Grupo Orbis will strengthen even further our Deco business in that region. It was already a leader and now it will be a very strong leader for that whole continent. Also on the deliver side, we kept rolling out our ERP system revamp we kept working on product portfolio management and I'm extremely excited that we used the opportunities in 2021 to really eliminate unproductive parts of our product portfolio and get self-inflicted complexity out of our network. I'm particularly proud that the team kept focused on one of our key core values, sustainability. I'm very honored that Axel Nobel was the only paints and coatings company to receive the Terra Carta seal in the UK and very excited about us rolling out and participating in the science-based sustainability targets. This is a major step to stay in line with the Paris Agreement targets, but it's also going to be a significant driver for innovation to keep us at the forefront, both in our product offering and in our supply chains. It was therefore only logical that we elevated People, Planet, Paint to be the purpose statement for the company. It is who we are, it is what drives our business model, and it is what keeps us in front of competition. It also drives the innovation part, and collaborative innovation has been part of our DNA over many years. Paint the Future continued, despite all the virtual meetings challenges, continued to move forward, to create networks working on new solutions. The regional challenge in China was a real success. And in fact, we're fully preparing for the second global challenge that will take place early in 2022. This collaborative spirit was also visible in our collaboration with the Rijksmuseum in Amsterdam on Operation Nightwatch. Time and time again, exciting scientific revelations came out that will also help us, help the museum and help them in an old masterpiece for the future. We're also deeply involved in the Advanced Research Center for Chemical Building Blocks here in the Netherlands. Headed by Nobel Prize winner Ben Feringa, we start seeing very exciting sustainability-oriented solutions coming out that will really be a head start for the company versus our competitors. Obviously, none of this would have been possible 
without the energy and the engagement day in, day out of the 33,000 colleagues of Axonobel around the world. They showed the resilience to rise to unprecedented challenges in 2021. That engagement was also on display in the results of our Organizational Health Index survey. We had the highest participate rate ever, and we also had the highest scores ever since we started this back in 2017. So to all of my colleagues, I'm saying thank you very much. I'm tipping my head for everything that you've done. You are the ones who kept us in front of the competition. You hung in there. And it is a continued privilege for myself and the executive committee to be on this journey with you. Thank you very much and stay safe.